Hi, this is yours truly, Melissa from Melissa at Home, and welcome back to another video. So today's video is just something slightly different. This is not work from home job lead or your, you know, normal video that you get from this channel. This video is for those who might be interested in collecting some free money, claiming some free money that is currently available to, I believe, U.S. citizens. So if you are in the U.S., I just want to show you some information that is currently out in the news, okay, and has been out in the news for the last couple of days now, okay? So maybe you're not aware of this. I've been just scoping around the news and just found these sources that are currently giving away free money, okay? And this is from the government and from different programs that you may not be aware of. So let's jump into it. I'm just going to show you a few articles because, of course, the, these are the sources where this information is coming from. Now, The Sun is a popular news um, platform. They always post different um they always post different topics that has to do with finances, entertainment, money, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I like to browse their website just to read articles and stay up to date on what's going on. Okay, so this is one of the articles that they have that getting free money between two hundred and four hundred dollars from a five billion dollar cost of living pot the exact criteria to apply. So they provide you with the criteria criteria that you need to meet in order to be approved to collect this free money. Okay, so this is just the first article. I have two more articles that combined all together, you can collect up to $4,000 a month. Now, this particular information was posted October 21st, a couple of days ago, so it's fresh. So let's get into the details about who's giving away this money for free, okay, and how you can collect to see if you meet some of the criteria. So Americans have mere days left to claim money worth up to $400, okay, this said days left. So I'm not sure if this is still available, but you can always check to see if it is still available. Now, it states Virginia is one of the states that is offering a tax rebate. So that is basically what it is, a tax rebate. This relief comes as inflation has been hitting wallets hard in the past couple of years. This forced lawmakers in Virginia to take action and pass $5 billion in tax relief. It includes rebates that are worth $200 for individuals and $400 for couples. These rebates are an important step in going into the holiday season to help Virginians keep more of their hard-earned money for gas, groceries, and essentials. Now, this is basically for Virginia. So, if you are in Virginia, then this will definitely benefit you, okay? I'm not sure if this is available all over the U.S., okay? But this is specifically addressing Virginia. So, who is eligible? Now, keep in mind that not every single Virginia household will qualify for this money. So to be eligible, you must have a tax liability. Tax liability is the amount of tax that you owe throughout the year minus any credits like the earned income tax credit or the credit for taxes you paid to another state, deductions or subtra subtractions, okay? So that's this is one of the criteria that you have to meet. Another thing you must do to receive your rebate is file 2022 taxes by the November 1st deadline. And you must keep in mind if you owe money to certain government agencies and institution, the rebate must be used to take care of the debt first. So if you owe money, that rebate needs to apply to your debt. Okay, first, those who are eligible for money can expect to receive their rebates depending on how they got their refunds, whether that be via paper check or direct deposits. Aside from Virginia, other residents are eligible for relief. So aside from Virginia, other residents are also eligible. And this includes Colorado residents who are receiving a property tax rent heat credit worth up to $1,000, okay? So Colorado is also included as one of the states that can also claim some free money. Now, to put your name down for consideration for the October payment, an application must have been filled out and processed before September 10th. So New York, if you're in New York, you were just approved of a $250 property tax rebate for, for Schenectady, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, 
county residents. Along with living in the county, you need to be enrolled in the school tax relief program. So more than 35,000 homeowners in Schenectady, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, are estimated to qualify for a $250 check. Alaska is on the list here, is sending out its permanent fund divided from 2022, which is worth $3,000. So if you're in Alaska, $3,000 you can claim. The most recent payment was scheduled to go out to those on October 5th who had their application in the eligible not paid status on September 22nd. In addition to the first 2023 PFD worth $1,000, that was set to go out on that date as well. So the next round of PFDs for 2022 and 2023 are scheduled to go out on October 26th for those who have their application in the eligible not paid status on October 18th. So we're not the October 26 is not here yet <laughs> so hopefully this video got you on time all right so this is basically a full article that lays out you know how much and where you reside how much you will be able to claim for free all right and also lays out what you need to be eligible to claim this free money all right so I'm gonna leave this link in the description section below this video another article okay that I came across from the sun at now final days to claim one thousand dollars in free money from data breach settlements see if you meet the criteria all right so this is posted october 22nd workers in one city may be able to grab cash in a data breach settlement so this is regards to data breaching impacted employees and retirees in san francisco have just days to file a claim and get money okay Data company TenUp has agreed to set to a settlement after it allegedly failed to take responsible security measures. The company, which runs the San Francisco Employee Retirement System, experienced a data breach in 2020. This has been very, um, this has been going on for a lot of companies. Okay, there's been so many companies that reached settlement for privacy invasion line so this is not the first company there have been a couple that came out this year and last year that reached some settlements and was giving away money so this is just one of those companies the deadline to file a claim in the class action is october 25th guys so <laughs> we have like 24 hours hopefully this video i will be posting it this evening so approximately 74,000 people may be impacted by the data breach the system sends an email to the affected users in march tenup has denied any wrongdoing but has agreed to pay an undisclosed sum in the settlement now now tenup has denied any wrongdoing but has agreed to pay an undisclosed sum in the settlement. Everyone who received a notice of the breach from this company is eligible to receive payouts. So if you received a notice from TenUp, then you may be eligible to receive to receive payment. If you want to double check to see if maybe you missed the notice and you are eligible, you can do this. Okay. So how you can claim this? Impacted class members can file a claim on settlement website or by mail. Okay, so you could click on this link where it says settlement website and it will take you to their the settlement website where you can file a claim. Claims via mail must be postmarked by October 25th deadline. So this is tomorrow. Most class members will be given $60 for valid claim. However, those most acutely impacted can file a claim of extraordinary loss for an additional payment. Class members who experience identity theft as a result of the data breach could get up to $1,000 with proof of cost. The settlement orders tend up to pay any expenses incurred such as cases up to $1,000 cap. So more class actions. TenUp is not the only company, like I just mentioned, having to pay out cash to consumers and clients. Another data privacy case is putting up $4,000 in the bank accounts of some Americans. In February 2022, the personal information of nearly 18,000 okay, customers were accessed and stolen. 
One major newspaper is forking over $5 million after it allegedly mishandled readers' data. The Boston Globe will pay out to subscribers for using Facebook's pixel tracking without user consent. So definitely keep an eye out for these settlements that, are, that these companies are doing, okay? Because you can actually make money or get money from these settlements if you use these companies in any way, shape, or form. Now, today's the 24th and I know this video is a little bit late but at least this enlightened you on the fact that you can you know get some free money by looking up some settlements settlements like do it monthly because this seems to be happening on a monthly basis right <laughs> we never know which company is going to be next now the last article I want to cover in this video is coming from a, a newspaper called the daily Hodel, the it's an online newspaper article okay they cover various news and insights across the web over six million dollars will be handed out with no strings attached as new guaranteed income program launches in the u.s so this is a new income program i believe it's called the nest now this is for a specific group of people so i'm going to go through this information and if you meet the criteria then you can benefit from this, okay? So a new guaranteed income program is set to disperse millions of dollars to families on the West Coast. So this is for those who are on the West Coast. The program, dubbed the NEST, aims to support 150, mil 150 families disproportionately impacted by poverty living in Washington State. Now this program will begin doling out monthly payments of $1,250 with no strings attached to selected families when the mother reaches her 12th week of pregnancy until the child's third birthday. So each family is expected to collect a total of $45,000 throughout the duration of the program. The NEST, which will send out a total of $6.7 million, is, is spearheaded by the Seattle-based nonprofit nonprofit hummingbird indigenous family services okay so they cater to indigenous families now if you meet the criteria for this one applications for this program is now open the nest plans to admit 15 new participants each month until all slots are filled the trial is one of dozens across the u.s that are set to give away more than 200 million to gauge just how effective basic income programs may be for people who are struggling to make ends meet, okay? So this is just another free money that you can claim if you meet the criteria. This was posted just this week on the 20th, all right? So these are recent, although one of the articles state that you have till tomorrow to submit a claim for that settlement by 10 up. But if you're able to do it somehow, you can go ahead and do it this evening and see if you would qualify for that settlement. So these are the three things that are going on in the news in which can assist you with helping you to claim some free money. Depending on where you're located in the U.S., you can get additional up to $4,000, <laughs> you know, from these programs as well as the government and in a settlement. So check out these articles and information in the description section below this video. And if you know someone who would benefit from this, go ahead and share it. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.